nobody should be. Where that girl could be potentially locked up, nobody should be. We're not talking about some country club as jail or prison. We're talking about one of the real deals, like might be even up there next to Angola type shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, y'all need to do y'all research. First off. Second but of it, all. It's the same. Go ahead and finish. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead, baby. Go ahead and finish. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Well, I, I was just going to say that. Damn, I forgot what the fuck I was saying. Go ahead and finish. Hell. <laughs> Nah, and second of all, when it comes to China 504, I never, let me say this, because we're on an app and people are handling this like this some street shit, but y'all get way, paid way too much money for this to be street shit, right? So the reality of the situation is it's more corporate. In a corporate world, people call the police. You understand? But when we call the police, we don't make it content. Right. We don't talk about it. Plan. We keep it off the app at that point. Because it's no longer a Vigo issue. Right. It's bigger than Vigo now. It's personal. So, furthermore... Right, that's what, that's what I was going to say when you were talking about the jail. I know people from a human, a human standpoint, you know, may say, well, I don't, you know wish that she was there or you know that's a a bad place to be but at the same token you know you got to realize that that person made choices enough to where laws were broken to where something could be done about it and that was still her choice at the end of the day i understand again i'm not saying that no one is innocent right or you know who pushed her to do what you know, she is a grown adult and she has choices. So she's taken it to the point to where she's broken laws and people have evidence to prove that enough for them to hold her. So that's her choice and she's got to stand on that. That's just all I'm saying. And that's all I'm saying. Like, we can't, I don't like, I'm not a person that be like, that's just karma or that's just Auntie Queen. Or that's just CFG Carla. Or I don't do. I don't make excuses like that for people. I hold you accountable. Because if it were me, the same people would hold me accountable. They would be running me through the bill right now. The only difference is I'm not going to condemn you. You understand what I'm saying? That's the only difference. So, you know, I'm not going to bring up no outside situations or no bad. I'm not. We, we got to stay on the topic. We're going to bring on what happened. I'm going to hop down and let you have your shirt back now. No, I appreciate okay. it. <laughs> okay, gay. You know, I appreciate that. It is not our job to condemn. We are human, so we judge. It is not our job to condemn them. You know, and so my whole thing is, I have so much love for all of the women on this app, and I hate to see y'all behave like that, because... When y'all can't get it together, where does that leave us? That puts us in a very dangerous trajectory. Where does that leave our children? Right? So, gratitudes, gratitudes. Y'all make sure y'all tap the screen, share the live, send the bean, help me thrive. Comment down below so I know you alive and help me hit my boxes so I can survive. Now listen, the whole point of the situation is... I'm so angry with the situation, period. I'm angry with China Red because she's in jail. I'm angry with China 504 because I thought she handled it in silence and now maybe she did it. You know what I mean? Right, right, Mama K. Gratitude, my love. So that's where I be feeling. That that's how I feel about the situation. At any point I still would be willing to facilitate a conversation because the conversation needs to take place in a certain type of atmosphere. You know what I mean? And let me let KK back up. Because I think this is relevant. This isn't the first time that Ashley back, has Afro. been to court. This is the first time that Ashley has been to court for some internet stuff. Back on the other app, another lady 
um, press charges, uh, foul charges, and also took her to court. But she walked away from that one. It was about harassment. This. My thing is this. China Red is one of the best roasters up here. Let's let's call it what it is. Okay? China Red is, in my mind, she's one of my top five. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. China Red is one of my top five when it comes to roasters on this motherfucking app. I don't care what anyone says. That's what I want to see her do. I want to see her read the motherfucking socks off of a bitch, but do it in a way where it doesn't become malicious, where she's not wishing hatred on people's children because not only does it affect you, but it affects the people that support you. It makes it hard for people to watch when they support you. You know what I mean? So, hold on, let me read y'all comments. I don't want to be over talking y'all, so. I agree, Glam Girl. She has no, that button is broke. That stop button is, is, is gone. Yeah, I love it. I'll sit all day long for a China Red Rose. You, you, what? All day long. You know what I mean? When she take that mic and, shh, you feel me? That shit come out her back, I believe. I'm telling you. It, I don't even know where she be finding them. Like, I saw one. she was walking around. I said, she's looking for a mic, y'all. You know what I mean? But that's ultimately what it boils down to. <laughs> Mama K. Mama K is going in here. Gratitude, ZFG. Gratitude. No, I, that's what I want for her. I want her to just continue to come out. Think about your children. Think about your mama. Because at the end of the day, these people depend on you. They need you. You know what I'm saying? They need you. And so I really hope that you're not in there forever. But I hope you get some act right when you come out. You know what I mean? I hope that this changes how you see things and you realize that things like this can happen. You know, this is only what I've been saying the whole time. Like, y'all are breaking the law when y'all do certain things. So things like this can't happen. You can't get mad because you show your hand and someone shows you theirs and it's better. You can't get mad because the play was better. We got to remember that. We can't get mad because the play is better. Right? On the flip side of that, I really hope that China 504 is suing and suing not out of spite, not out of a malicious space. I don't want to see you coming from a space that you don't sit in. You know what I mean? I don't want to see you suing out of spite. If that's why you're suing, then don't sue. I want you to sue because you've had enough. I want you to sue to make a point, but I don't want you to sue from a malicious place because that's not who you are. You know what I mean? Do not let other people's demons take you to hell. Do not. You understand? And I love both of y'all. I have a genuine love for both of y'all. But this behavior is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. You know what I mean? What I would like to see is some truces around this motherfucker. Some of y'all sitting down and doing things from an adult perspective. Like, you go to work. How many of y'all don't went to jobs and you don't like your coworkers, but you got to act like you like them? You know what I mean? But y'all will do that shit for nine twenty-five an hour. This ain't that. And that ain't this. And you know that. So why we can't be cordial for the kind of bag that you get? You know what I mean? We don't got to call each other. We don't got to sit for tea and crumpets. But we can get a bag together. We can do business together. What, sit downs, Afro? It is. It is, Nichelle. It, it really is. It's unfortunate. And the reality of the situation is hurt people hurt people. Because the reality is only only when I look at the people who do it the most and the people who indulge in this behavior the most, I find that it's a situation where something else is going on. And we want to heal all that. Somebody said something about generational curses. We need to break those. We need to break all those generational curses. This shit is not okay, y'all. It's not okay that she's sitting in jail and it's not okay that China 504 was threatened. 
None of that shit is okay. Greetings, Shay. Greetings. Welcome back. Gratitude to do. I keep saying welcome back. Yeah, like, none of this is okay. We got to do better. Welcome back, Hurlbot. None of this is, none of this is good. You know what I'm saying? And the reality of the situation is, I don't know. I don't want to say too much because then I give up too much details for either party. You know what I mean? When I say that, I mean telling the other party what they can and can't do, what's the next, what the next play could be, you know? Greetings have my own mind. How you feeling, King? Greetings, Pimp C. So that's what it boils down to. I think it's time to start healing. This app really needs to heal. Like, let's take a week off from the doxing. Can y'all do me that? Y'all wouldn't do forever. But can we do like a week for the doxing? Like, it's Friday. So can like next Friday, next Saturday, y'all can do what the fuck y'all want to do. Grand Rise in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Next Friday, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Don't call CPS, don't dox for like a whole week. Grand Rising, you know. Grand Rising, Oliver. I absolutely, Mama K, I absolutely don't think that's unacceptable behavior. You know I think that's unacceptable behavior. That's unacceptable behavior. It is unacceptable for anyone. Let me just say this. And if, if what you're saying is true, Mama K, because I don't really know, I have to go do some research, right? If what you're saying is true, then I say this all the time, and this applies. You cannot expect people to... You can't create an arena that you don't want people to enter. That's what I'm going to say. You can't create an arena that you don't want people to enter. Gratitude, you know. Grand Rising Gal, Gal Grand Rising Dips, Grand Rising Fatima, Grand Rising Ali. Yeah, that's what I think it boils down to. You know what I mean? And so, I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I am a little bit compassionate with people that go to jail. Because I know jail is no place for, for people. It's not a, it's not a good place. Just like I'm compassionate for people who get the cops called on them and CPS on this motherfucker and get docs because it's not the right place to be. Today is about right is right and wrong is wrong. I don't know the nature of what was said. All I know is she was placed in jail for harassment, right? Or for a warrant that had nothing to do with the harassment or something like that, right? So, I don't know. I just pray that she gets through this and that she can come out on top and come out and do better because I wanna see you do better. Like China, real talk, I don't know what everybody else telling you, just me and you talking, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but y'all can relate a message. Real talk, I'm rooting for you and I want you to do better. I want you to stop that bullshit because there's greater out there for you than that. There's greater out there than that, like there's so much. Yeah, like why, why, why Mama K? You know, like, that's so, uh, that's the unnecessary, and I want her to stop. I want her to stop. I would love to see all these ladies sit on a panel together and roast each other for fun. Drink and play music and laugh and then go to bed at night knowing that you good, you did a good deed. And all the people that you left ain't got to go pray the demons off and ain't got to, come on, y'all, we got to do better. We got to do better, and it's unacceptable, Mama K. Okay? 